Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and since 1996, I've been helping families buy homes when they didn't have the cash to pay for it by providing home mortgage financing. One of my favorite things about the job is that I get to learn something new every day. Guidelines are constantly changing and no two applications are the same. So if you'd like to learn more about the exciting world of mortgage financing, please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Whether you're looking to sell your home or buy a new one, you most definitely want to work with a professional real estate agent, but finding the right agent for you may seem impossible. And it's important to remember to work with someone who comes with recommendations and a drive to really work for you. In this video, we're going to share four tips to finding a great real estate agent. Primarily, you want to make sure that you feel 100% comfortable with the agent you select because you could be working with them for a few months. That's why it's important to take some time to find the right agent for you. So let's dive in and find out more about the four tips to finding a great real estate agent. Beginning with number one, which is check with your mortgage lender. The first step in buying a new home is to get a pre-approval so you know how much you qualify for. Your mortgage lender is the perfect person to ask for recommendations for real estate agents. Mortgage lenders work with real estate agents on a daily basis and they know who is good and who will look out for you and your best interest. Ask them who they'd work with. Number two, ask what services are included. If you're looking for an agent to sell your home, then be sure to get a list of everything that they are going to do for you, including listing, marketing, showing, and staging. Be sure to find out about any additional costs and who will pay for them. Ask what they're going to do to list and market your property. Do they produce the listing price for you? And if so, what is it based on? Also, find out if they will be doing open houses or if you are responsible for that. And of course, the better your house looks, the more it may sell for. Number three, know the commission. On average, real estate agents charge anywhere from five to 6% of the sales price. Typically, the seller will pay the commission fee as part of their closing costs. So, as a home buyer, you are not paying this fee. The seller's agent, which is the agent the seller has contracted with, then splits the commission with the buyer's agent, which is the home buyer's agent, in addition to being compensated for their time and service. Real estate agents use their commission to pay brokerage fees and marketing expenses to promote listings. The seller may negotiate the commission, but remember that often in life, you get what you pay for. So. Getting commission down may have an adverse effect on how your property is promoted. Be smart about this. Number four, review the contract closely. Not all real estate contracts are the same. You may want to know what contract you need and your rights. If you're selling your home, you want to know what type of contract or listing agreement you have. Finding the right real estate agent for you will make the entire process much easier and less stressful. If you need help along the way with recommendations or information, be sure to check with your lender. They are always happy to help. Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and I help people buy homes when they don't have the cash to pay for it. If it's your first home, your next home, or your rental home, my team and I will make sure you have the right financing in place and the process is smooth and easy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please reach out to us at the information provided. We can't wait to talk to you.